what is a fashion activist? It's you know in India, it's still a very untapped term, and mm -hmm. uh, you don't see the word fashion and activism go together mm -hmm. um, in many forums. So Aditi uh, would like to start by thanking you for having me here and getting right away into the answer part of it is that fashion activism, I think even like five years ago, people weren't really looking at fashion from any perspective which has never been done before. And since like I was a little girl, I was so interested in fashion. But one thing was clear that it definitely meant more than what was on the surface. And I wanted to get into the depth of what fashion really could do and what it, what does it mean? Because, you know, no matter where you are, in which part of the world, everybody's life is interconnected with fashion at some level. Even if you want to call yourself somebody from fashion or not, your life is surrounded by clothing and fashion. So it definitely impacts so many people, right? So four years ago, almost when I started this, I started by combining activism and fashion together in terms of how socially we can impact the communities, the people who are directly impacted or infected and connected with fashion. So one of the areas that we have obviously explored into is that how we could bring fashion and activism and social impact together in terms of what it really means other than what we wear, how it makes you feel, what does it do for the people, how is it interconnected with the climate and the scenarios in the world today. So I think just that deeper sense of understanding of what fashion could do for the world I wanted to completely get into it and that's what I did. Okay, that's 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 a whole lot of things you said and uh, which uh, uh, in theory sound very good. Tell me how does it work on the ground? For instance, what are the kind of projects that you're associated with that you would define as fashion activism and how are the uh, activism combining yeah. uh, or combined with fashion? Right. So, you know, since it's such an untapped area, how we were discussing, it's so niche, we're still trying to define what fashion activism is. Growing up, there was never a textbook that I read that made me a fashion activist, right? So this is something, and that's also another reason why I'm called India's first fashion activist, because this is something we're still defining what it means, areas it could cover, what it could tap into. Uh, we do a lot of projects. For example, a very quick insight into what fashion activism is, is that if you work with Gucci, let's say if I'm working with Gucci, which I do, I work with Gucci Equilibrium, which is Gucci's as a fashion house, their commitment towards people and planet. So when we talk about fashion from fashion activism, how do we separate it? We say that we work with Gucci Equilibrium, a movement that's already working, you know, by the house's commitment towards people and planet. We work with EV cars, we work with MG Motors, we work with Mercedes Benz, we work with Saratoria, which is another circular fashion platform. You know, it's, it's circulating the fashion system. Um, we work with Sond, another homegrown brand. So, you know, what are we doing in terms of fashion activism and the projects that we take on is that we are mostly into uh, promoting sustainable brands, sustainable lifestyle habits. How about in the Indian context? Uh, what is it that, because the challenges that India has uh, uh, in terms of not just uh, women empowerment, but also in terms of the working conditions of these women and children, uh, especially in the fashion industry. What is it that you're bringing to the table for them? Is that also on the radar or are you just working with uh, uh, select brands and NGOs globally? No, absolutely not. I think uh, for us, it's more that people who are willing to contribute to people in return are our target brands. Like if you're wanting to do something for them, how can we be a small part of what you are trying to do on the ground, right? Because one thing that I'm very passionate about is like how we convert these supply chains into value chains. So like one of the questions that I have with brands that I work with is that, are you impacting your artisans through it? Are you into fair pay? Because you know, sustainable is being sustainable is not a straight line. It's something that everybody is just figuring out right now, right? So how can a brand be more sustainable? Are you into fair pay? Are you paying your artisans on time? Are you including more women? Are you impacting more women? 
there are a million ways that people could be sustainable and i think right now the brands are taking up the onus of coming forward and committing to a greener cleaner planet and uh, in all ways and every way i'm here for it you one of the few uh, actually one of the only digital influencers and uh, activists who were invited to cop 27 um uh, uh, you know what is it how was your experience there and what did you bring to the table as far as uh, fashion activism is concerned and also in terms of uh, climate how how does how does that link up with climate right and what is it that you're doing in, on that regard so you know most people uh, would just be unaffected by this really great fact that i keep on stressing so much is that after aviation which is the biggest factor of climate change right now biggest contributor fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world that is contributing to almost 9% of that global change and that is a huge number you cannot ignore fashion when you talk about climate you cannot ignore the makers and people who are involved in this business because it's time that they come up and be accountable for what they have been doing since generations uh being a part of cop 27 uh, last year in sharm el sheikh egypt i felt that i was heard youth was heard and how you know these leaders from all around the world are actually opening up these spaces for young people to become a part of something that will ultimately lead the path define the path of our life and future generations so not only that i was honored to be amongst that kind of uh you know those kind of people but also the fact that i was the first fashion activist and digital influencer to be invited for it so in one way or the other it meant that they are focusing on fashion because we cannot anymore ignore the fact that fashion is a contributor to this change and having people like me on those conferences and makers of this conferences is literally telling people that fashion and climate are so interlinked and that it needs to be heard now more than ever how do you think uh how you know india is placed as far as the climate crisis is concerned what are your views on that so you know it's a 2018 report which said that india is among top countries which will be most vulnerable to climate change and obviously that depends on the fact that you know it's our economic dependency on water uh our agricultural sector the economy depends so much on it that anything the water scarcity due you know due to droughts floods and climate change could definitely impact you know us in more ways than we could define right now so india's participation even at cop today this time was um, limited but still a uh, very very important and significant because we are one of the you know one of those countries which will be and are directly impacted by the climate change um and going forward i think the plan and the policies that we will make the governments will make and the willingness of how our leaders are pushed in the direction of making those climate sustainable decisions right so we keep saying that keep climate at the heart of what you make any more or the policies that you bring out and formulate is because it's so much more important that now we define the direction that we are going forward with and i think at cop 27 last year the entire focus was how would we build these sustainable communities like what does the world really need to do in order to move forward and make earth greener make earth greener but well, what does india need to do in your in your in your or let's say indian fashion how can indian fashion become a contributor uh, to that and what efforts do you think uh you are you planning any efforts in that direction what efforts should the industry be looking at right. uh i think aditi it's as simple as that the time to account be accountable is right now because uh, i think fashion has always been looked upon as something which is very frivolous you know like frivolous people it's a non serious profession it's it's an indian mindset that mm. uh it's not something which is very important very significant i th- and you know like changing that mindset amongst people and saying that fashion is way more than what you think it is impacting your life it is changing things around you you have to look at it now and 
really be serious about fashion because it is impacting the entire world as you can see right in indian fashion space i feel that since you know at our own levels that you know being influencers and digital uh, people who are re who are who could have the you know responsibility and do have the responsibility to impact readers and what they do i do my bit wherever i can i work with where i pl pledge to not work with fast fashion brands no matter how much they pay me because for me it's people over profit and not the other way around and i think that's one feeling that i feel in in the indian scenario in the political scenario in the leaders makers fashion people who are really in the power in the uh, role of doing something i think people over profit is something that india should be looking at because it's our own people that are being impacted by decisions that we take